Welcome back. Now news from sports. Manisha Fernandez, a Mumbai-based Goan rally driver, has won the top spot on the podium in the foreign class category of the Maruti Suzuki Hill Climb. The 1.5-kilometer track is a 70-degree gradation of seven hairpins and inclined slopes. Manisha raced for Amol Satoshka's Team Goa. Manisha's timing of 1 minute 59 seconds was good enough to render the Goan girl a win in the foreign class category. Maruti had put the hill climb on hiatus, but from 2008, Maruti have restarted the famous Nandi Hill Climb in Karnataka. Over the years, rally drivers have grown to respect the hill climb because of its unforgiving nature. In these difficult circumstances, it is a matter of pride that a Goan has won in one of the categories of the hill climb. After Amol Satoskar's brilliant display at Raid the Himalaya and Dakshin Dare, Manisha Fernandez has done Goan Motorsport proud once again. I had participated in the hill climb in Bangalore, for which I had participated in the foreign open category and I came first with a timing of 159 seconds for a total of 1.5 kilometers. This is basically a hill climb where there are uh, an inclination of about uh, 65 to 70 degrees and seven uh, hairpin curves. So it is a pretty tough rally compared to other TSD rallies on straight roads. In spite of that, I could outdo it and come first. Really happy for it and thanks to Team Goa who always supports me for these rallies. Hailing from Madgaon, the autocross specialist is now gearing up for Desert Storm 2010. For this, I have done the Monsoon Rally last year. Uh, I've done Desert Storm, I've done a Pune autocross. I've done uh, many other drag races like the Chennai Supercross as well. The next rally is the Desert Storm 2010. We are preparing for that. Team Goa uh, with Amul Satoskar as well as myself and uh, hope to do well. With Bureau Inputs, our reporter from Madgao, Samir Bhatt. The Goa Cricket Association is all set to organise the second edition of Goa Professional League on a larger scale. The GPL 2020 tournament will be held from 23rd December to January 8th at Purvore. The Goa Cricket Association's inaugural GPL generated a lot of interest amongst the cricketers as well as the cricket lovers from the state last year. The tournament was played at GCA's Academy Ground in Porvuri. Six franchisee teams including Salgaonkar Sports Club, Chogule Sports Club and Dempo Cricket Club took part in the tournament. Salgaonkar Sports Club won the title last year. This season, the GCA is planning to conduct the tournament on a larger scale and they have released tender notice in local newspapers on Thursday. The notice is for media houses interested in telecasting the tournament live in the state. The other tender notice is for franchisee enrollment for three years with a minimum fee of Rs 5 lakhs per year. Goan Cricket surely got a share of big money last season when the players were auctioned for decent wage packets. The clubs were happy to spend the money for the pride of being in the GPL. The GPL second edition is expected to be even better cricketing festival as some foreign players are also said to be interested in playing in this state league. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Today in our video of the day, we take you to the local markets dressed in Diwali outfits. Markets have flourished with Akash Dive, Diaz, Sweet Fire, Crackers and many other things. Have a look at it, enjoy and have a safe, happy Diwali. Take care and goodbye.